What's that mean, people? Population nation here. Now, I remember a time, many years ago, I was a huge Star Wars fan. Quite well, as much Clint Wars as I could. Uh, and also, small town where I'm from, a lot of people knew me. They come across it. And, uh, give me as a present, so, you know, stuff. Um, I walk across to my local, sort called Town Cry, and shit. So, papers, magazines, whatnot, bits and bobs. But, and I look at the, you know, the sections. I was just, uh, just laying computers at the time. And down there, you know, uh, TV times and whatnot. And I couldn't wait for it to be anything, any article, any mention of George Lucas or Star Wars or the special edition or the planned prequel. And um, I was buying that magazine. Uh, obviously, times change. If people move on. The world keeps spinning. You know, evolution. We develop, we grow. We, we discover things out. We're unlocking the secrets to the universe all the time. Um, and to a Marvel fan, like I know in America you, you have these big comic book shops that are quite popular and I suppose uh, a lot of people are familiar with them seeing this during the Big Bang Theory. But anyway, uh, we didn't really have comic book shops over here, but we really had shops that sold comics and magazines. And then you could go to places that specialised in certain areas. So um, there was a place called, I think it was called Forbidden Planet. Um, I just didn't know what it was. It fancy you want to start with either way. Um, I had a friend who used to go up and buy the little little miniatures, uh, lead miniatures, and he would paint them. It was absolutely amazing, and he had some on display there, like. Um, I believe that award, did they call it something like the Golden Sword Award for painting? Went it a couple of times anyway. Honestly, the stuff he, he, he could do, you know, the, 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 what's on that uh, paintbrush he used, I couldn't even see the fucking brush. You know, when the dance is just one of the finest, all sorts, you know, and you had to be in the right light and learn to control his breathing, that lot, that. Uh, amazing, yeah. And um, I met him through another mate of mine who liked to go down with him and uh, have a look around, you know, you, you get all your bits of weird uh, ornaments and whatnot, like. And uh, upstairs, they had a, a section of comics, backdated comics or old comics, some, you know, bad condition, not worth anything. So, you know, bad condition, worth cost more. And uh, I was loving my 2000 AD. And I started, um, I'd say my age, I've been going, you know, a couple of decades by this point, like, you know, so, but there'd be stories that come up and I'd be like, yeah, so I'd like to know what happened in that story before, when they refer stuff to back in the past, and I'd have to, you know, hunt round and eventually get these issues and 
then that would lead me to get more and more. And what I suppose the thing is that I'm saying is as fans of people, we are passionate about certain things. Whether it's Star Wars, um, you know, I got a bit obsessed with collecting comics at one point because I was determined to, to get the full set. You know, my missus, she's got this thing. She loves storms. It's crazy whenever it's really windy, lightning or thunder, anything like that. She loves it, getting her phone out and going out and standing outside and... Yeah, and she watches it on TV all the time. And she really has got this thing about, you know, the weather and storm systems and um stuff like that in general. Yeah. That's her thing, you know. Not knocking it for it. But um Marvel, I already said I collected two thousand AD comics. But I also had Marvel comics. Some that people had got me thinking it was 2008, you know, he was just, oh, I'll collect comics, so here's a few, or we've been somewhere and seen someone brought them, or I used to have people, you know. Um, I've got a couple of issues here, mint condition, you know, and. Um, I'll sell me a cheap price or whatever, you know, be, why not, sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, uh, so Marvel was never my strongest thing. I remember having issue 1 to 11 of Moon Knight, I've mentioned this many times, because um, I actually, out of some of the Marvel comics I had, I never even opened them and read them, they just stayed in a plastic bag stored in a cupboard in a in a car in a box in a cupboard like you know um and when, I, when getting back issues there were some that i had that were in bad condition and i'd always seek out to get better condition ones um yeah, I had a couple of number ones in absolute pristine condition. If well, uh, it's a bit of a sore issue bringing up you know, what happened to him because I know what happened to him. I did not sell him. I did not give him away. I didn't leave him somewhere and forget. No, I. Handed them over to a person who I trusted, thought I could trust, and she'd moved, and uh, she couldn't take, really take the comics over to where she was moving to, so they went, the parents had the big house at the time, they were taking that and putting the attic. And some years later, apparently, her mum and dad split up, or whatever, I don't know. Uh, and, uh, I was suggest the last few times I've seen her, she's dodged the question or if it's over sort of Facebook social media, you know, a text or a chat. She'll go Listen to early comics, why didn't you ask me back twenty years ago? And I'll be I did ask one back twenty years ago, but you said, Oh, you can't get him at the moment because they're at your mum's in a loft and blah 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 and then the whole time when I saw you after that it was another excuse. And then the time after that, so uh, you, you know, you get sucked for me. And then I uh, moved away for quite a period. Um, but I bumped into a friend one day who do them together at a time, and he said, "Oh, she's still got all your stuff, by the way. Yeah, it's all in them boxes. Um, and they had to get to mum's house." So that was some truth to it, you know, once the day I did the star, aren't they? 
Um, but like I say, 20 years gone by, I've moved back to town and um, the first few times or so we spoke, you know, but then as soon as I brought him about the comics, it's he just started like, dodging dodging it and <laughs> I must have at least mentioned them every day for like three or four years, even if I was just sat in the room on my own and so I'm quite happy. I'm going well off point here now. The fact is they've gone. I resided to it, they've gone. Um, I remember they weren't saying you out carry the boxes. They were bloody heavy because they were stacked full of comics. Like, uh, and some very collectible ones as well. I mean, I do know the Avengers and the Uncanny Axe Man and, and, and Top Condition is worth a bit. Uh, and I had this shoe one to four of each of them. Uh well there we go. Anyway, um so moon night I will start a perfect example. I am not the biggest model fan. I did a collect a few of their things. And I mean that was the first story I actually read from uh Marvel Comics. I'd seen the kids animated uh, Spider-Man series and all that like that. Um, but yeah, me and that, I quite liked him. Uh, I thought he was like a sort of more badass bit version of uh, Batman in a way. And um, seeing what Disney Plus did to that character to me, absolutely said that was the one, one Disney Plus series where he hadn't been in any of the films. And I thought, you know, they could turn this into a really good series. He's got various different powers, as you say. He, he's actually quite a strong character uh, and obviously maybe use more personalities and all that lot of stuff but yeah and, 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 and that film was just I don't know <laughs> I bet in a year's time I, I could sit here and say yeah I remember a bit moon night that bit where it was like uh, Phoebe Waller Bridge uh, Chasing Andy through the desert to rescue him, or when Black Adam had to get rescued from the de desert. Um, yeah, it's just weird. Are you an Egyptian superhero? I am. Like, uh, I'd be like, Are you an Egyptian superhero? I mean, Look, you need to get round there and stay out the way. Shit's going on, like, yeah. Uh, so, making this video quite long now, but uh, so I'm just going to get into the to the main meat and bones. Uh, just before I do, please subscribe, like the video, share, ring that bell, ding dong, all the rest of it. Um, I am working on laying myself out to edit and um, not say er so much and I am writing notes now more often so I should get things right more often and I could have just edited that out and like I say I've worked out um, I want to get my videos down to about 10 minutes and uh I bet the if in an R in and repeat myself, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well that, that happened. So, Marvel fans, what have you got? Uh, the, the, what's left of you Marvel fans? Or should I say 
guys that brought the comics that loved Marvel. Um, well, every YouTuber that I, I want to say every single one I watch is somebody who likes Marvel or Disney or not Disney Marvel. Um, but quite a lot of them do. Um, and so far, the, 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 from phase four onwards, you've just, just said what utter rubbish it is. It says phase four, they called it the MCU. Um, so phase five kicked off with Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania film. I didn't waste my time going to see. This was one that originally I thought, wow, because of the trailers, this is one to go and, and watch on the big screen. But after a few more trailers, I cottoned on and I was like, um, no, actually, this is going to be shit. This trailer's one big lie. Uh, so you kicked off with that. Right. Uh, then, Secrets of Invasion on Disney Plus. Hmm. I don't think. I think it's going to be entertaining for like an episode or two but another one where you're going to get someone like Marla who will gladly tell us all the plot holes and stupidity on it. You know, God in the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, I believe it's the last one they're making of that. Um... Everyone's liked them so far pretty much. Uh, I didn't think number two was all that good, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, if you like the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think you'll like it. They, they, they are quite likeable characters. Um, but then you've got Echo. Now, was she deaf and mute? So you've got a superhero that you can't talk, you can't talk to her. Um, that's just like, uh, I don't know, it takes a few boxes, but that's not going to be much of a show, is it? Uh, so then we get Loki season two. Well, after the big turn, 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 turn off this women of season one, uh, yeah, I just think that'll be completely um, underwatched. Right. Then you've got the marbles. I think they'll do quite well at cinema. Um, they're obviously going to lead up a lot of hype to it. But um, no, not. Uh, I can't see one getting. I can see it getting a lot of great support. But uh, yeah, not one that. Uh, you know, your children are going like, oh, oh, oh we seen that bit, you're going to have to book tickets for that, right? Uh, Blade, well, that's just going to, uh, you know, you're just going to watch an old classic getting ruined. Cinema. Uh, Iron Heart, I like how they put Blade in between then. Uh, yeah. Uh, I give a Calvin of Chaos. Uh, is anyone interested in that? I don't know. Uh, Daredevil. 
well, they, they made a, a really good series. They don't need to make another one. They don't need to make remake that one. Um, I read he's done some reshoots and rewatched some scenes and cut some scenes out and uh, yeah. Uh, so I will never watch it because I already saw it on Netflix and I thought it was great. So if you haven't seen it, well, yeah, that's ruined for you. Captain America, New World Order, another Disney Plus show. So far, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Disney show plus is. And apart, and apart from um, the... I would say Secret Invasion would be the one that I didn't think I'll actually watch. I will wait for certain YouTubers that I know will watch it. Uh, and there is a different time soon to me, so by the time I get up, they've already been a video and people uh, hear me uh, with crap and I'll get around to that in my own time. Like, but uh, all these rats are absolutely diabolical. Uh, and then finally finishing up Thunderbolt, Thunderbolts, uh, which starts on the 26th of July 2023, I believe. So that is what Marvel fans have got coming up this year. You were the Ant Man, Ant Man, aren't you? So, yeah. Secret Invasion, um, oh, the Gang Dynasty, Dynasty is apparently all part of it in Secret Invasion, I've got to add that bit out, because um, it leads into the two Avenger films that are coming out. Um, and what are the two that are coming out? Well, uh, Marbles is coming out and Blade's coming out. I'm sure I would read it on my list if uh, we get an Avengers film with King this year. Um, Blade, the Marbles, Secret Invasion. Yeah, so. Yeah, we ain't got like, like, like Luke Fox, much Luke Fox. <laughs> I'm trying to say two words at the same time. You haven't got much to look forward to as well as you've got not much luck as well on the, uh, on the, uh, the things that are being released front. <laughs> I can't believe I've rambled on this long, but uh, yeah, let's just see. Kang's on his ass kicked many times, um, but it seems Jonathan Majors is he's, he's such hot property. Uh, I think if uh, Chadwick Boseman hadn't died. Yeah, you know, that's the song. Uh, would he have been so? You know, every interview or when they mention it, you could just keep hearing his name, his name, and name, and poor old Paul Judd, you know. He, 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 he's just left to become a buffoon another day, hasn't he, you know? Uh, Blade, that is so... I, I did a video on that. Don't touch it. Don't ruin it. Do not ruin it. If anything, right, if anything, with the technology and how good people are on computers, 
they could perhaps go back and fix, perhaps edit out, but you, you know, some of that really dodgy uh, CGI. I was think I think they could do it. Uh, I hope somebody out there. I know where I'm going to be. Um, not many subscribers and a big viewer base, but uh, you know, there's a there's a that's what you could do in your spare time, yeah. Uh, but other than that, no, it does not does not need touching. Anyway, folks, yes, this time I really will well leave it here. Yeah. Can see two words again at the same time and then non comment. Uh yeah, subscribe, like, share. And uh you know when you're about on the street and you know, you see someone struggling or they drop something. Pass the love man, we need a bit more of this. Not getting someone's pronouns right. We need treating people with respect and giving them a bit of help when they needed it. Thank you very much.